welcome you all my lecture series of automata theory and compiler design in today's uh, video we are going to see about uh, how we can construct the uh, n dfa uh, nfa equivalence of dfa that is the equivalence of dfa and nfa uh, so this is that uh, we have a algorithm to construct the uh, nfa uh, equivalent dfa so in that nfa and dfa uh, nfa contains the set of states of n means the dfa should contains the set of states of d uh, the um, the cons the tuple five tuples in nfas are we have a set of uh, states set of input symbols starting state and uh, final state and also the transitions so the set of states of nfa and uh, differ from the dfa that is a q and the dfa states are call it as a q dash steps for converting the nfa to dfa is initially the q dash that is the dfa state is empty so the q dash tends to the starting which is equal to the starting state of nfa for example the starting state is q not means q dash is equal to starting state of nfa next step for each state in q dash find the possible set of states for each input symbols so for example we have a starting state q not means from the q not we have to find the uh, set of possible states for each input symbols uh, if this set of states are is not in q dash means add them to the q dash uh, so that so finding state is not in the q dash mean add them to the q dash that is the dfa state so the final state this process is continued until no more new state will find next is the final state of dfa will the states which contain the final states of nfa so the starting state of dfa is equal to starting state of nfa from the starting state of dfa we have to find the set of possible states for each input symbols so the finding state it is not in the q dash means add them to the q dash if not means rename as a as it is so the final state of dfa will the final state of uh, nfa states so this is the uh, procedure for converting the nfa to dfa now we will see this uh, nfa dfa conversion with a small example so here the nfa which accepts all the strings ending with 0 1 so what is the language we can derive from that uh, statement so the basic symbol is 0 and 1 ending with 0 and 1 so the basic uh, symbol is a uh, 0 and 1 after that uh, we have that 0 0 1 or 1 0 1 Uh, that is for the single input symbol single zero one. Then combination of two means zero 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 one. So that anyway that uh, string should be ending with the zero one. So this is the NFA diagram for that language. So we have a basic uh, diagram of zero uh, one acceptance from the state Q naught. When you read the input symbol zero, it goes to the Q one. From the Q one, when you read the input symbol one, means it go to the Q two, so this is the basic symbol. So before that, we have any combination of zero comma one. So what is the regular expression here? Zero or one closer followed by the zero one. So this is the regular expression for that NFA. So the right hand side we have the transition table for that diagram. And uh, the transition table, you know that it contains the three columns. The first column is the states, and second column is that. and the remaining columns are the input symbols uh, so in that diagram from the q not we have a uh, zeroth input symbols it goes to the q not comma q1 and from uh, q not for the input symbol 1 it goes to the q not itself next from the q q not uh, q1 we don't have any zero transition so we put it as an empty and from the q1 we have the one transition it goes to the state q2 so next is a uh, from the q2 we don't have any transition so that transition diagram is shown in that right hand side of nfa diagram from that nfa transition diagram we have to construct the dfa transition diagram 
so you look at that in the dfi transition diagram first we start with the starting symbol of q naught so we as it is write it down the uh, q naught uh, input symbol transition of nfa as a in dfa so from that uh, new uh, from that uh, input state transition if any new state is fine means now the dfa starting state is q naught so after from after the q naught if there is any new state fine means we have to add that state into the dfa itself uh, in that uh, 0 comma 1 from the 0th transition we find that the new state of q naught comma q1 so you add that state into the dfa so the next state of dfa is a q naught comma q1 so that q0, q1 we have to find the input symbol transition from that NFA transition table. So the q0, q1 means in the NFA we are going to combine the uh, q0, q1 state transition for the input symbol 0. So for that the state is the finding state is q0 comma q1 for the uh, one in uh, for the input symbol one uh, we are we are finding we are getting that uh, new state is a q0 comma q2 so in that second uh, state transition for the input symbol one only we get the new set of states so you add that set of states as a dfa next state from that is a q0 comma q2 uh, so in that nfa we are combining the q0 comma q2 transition for both 0 and 1 input symbols when you are combining that for the 0th input symbol the uh, the uh, reaching state is q0 comma q1 that state is already uh, already in the dfa state next is uh, for the one transition we get the q naught that is also already in the dfa state so you stop the transition uh, you stop the process and finally we conclude this is the dfa transition table for the given nfa uh, so we have a three set of state is a q naught q naught q1 and q naught q2 so this is the diagram for that dfa uh, for the 0th and 1 input symbol from the q0 when you read the 0th symbol it goes to the q0 comma q1 from q0 when you read that one input symbol it goes to the q0 uh, the second state is a q0 comma q1 In the q0 comma q1 for the 0th transition it goes to the same state itself for the one transition it goes to the new state of q0 comma q2 again from the q0 comma q2 for the 0th transition it goes to the q0 comma q1 for the one transition it goes to the q0 so this uh, from that dfa transition table we are going to construct the dfa diagram so this is the procedure for converting our nfa equivalent dfa using an algorithm so first step we have to for a given for example we are giving the language description means from the language we are going to draw the diagram from the diagram we are going to construct the nfa transition table from the nfa transition table we are going to construct the dfa transition table using the procedure so from the dfa transition table finally we draw the dfa diagram so this is the procedure and steps to convert our uh, equivalence of nfa equivalence of dfa for the given nfa i hope you will understand how to convert the nfa to the dfa in next video you will see one more example of that uh, dfa nfa equivalence thank you